Hey guys, this is what if here. Um, before you watch this video, um, you'll probably see me. Um, the original footage I have kind of got fucked up. Now, it wasn't face cam stuff. It was mainly the um, what, what kind of? Mainly, it was just uh, the game footage was screwed up. Now, both raw files of what they're supposed to look like is let's say for example the time length for the face cam footage is about 15 minutes that normally doesn't have any issues now normally the video game footage is supposed to be two seconds ahead of the camera mainly because when you start it takes like one second and then when you stop recording it takes like maybe a second or two so it's always two or three seconds off that's not a big deal here it was a good 15 seconds off and it's not like, you know, oh, it's just one particular scene. No, this happened way earlier, way, way earlier. It happened during certain parts in the race where it just jump cuts. You'll probably see it in the video, I'll, I'll probably mention. But um, when I was saying stuff about um, what was on screen, it wasn't even there. So it was like 15 seconds off, and it's a major, major... It, it, it kills it. It just completely killed it. So it pissed me off because I like Atona and everything and I just wanted that to at least work but no it didn't it fucked up it happens my computer was fucking stupid at the time so shit happens but as you see in the footage I have 100% uh, difficulty one test word one test fuel cautions on and damage full and I'm gonna do qualifying and now I don't show all the qualifying I'm just showing you like the highlights of it which is actually pretty funny because as you see right here I'm on the outside line and I come down right in front of Kansas and I wreck myself so that was pretty smart. So I'm spinning backwards and just like, wow, I can't believe I did that. And here I am trying to get going. <laughs> I'm just like, um, people, can can I get down low? I was really hoping nobody ran into me and then I freaking turned left and got away from it, which wasn't that bad. So thankfully that was over. And then here I am pushing Kyle Bush in the next part and then you see the camera glitched up there. I don't know why, but that's just another moment. So I was doing it even in qualifying. But you see right here, I'm just pushing Kyle Bush, and here comes McMurray. Kyle Bush tries to get in line with McMurray, then ducks, and then he wiggles, and I try to get back in line, and I fuck up, and I spin into Kyle Bush, and then I go again, slap the outside wall, saved it, kept going. And I think they're, ooh, almost got into Tony Stewart. And then the last one here, me and Boyer are pretty much tied for the pole. So I'm about to pass Boyer, and Boyer just stopped. And that's how I got the pole. The stupidest freaking way I got the pole ever. The only reason mainly I qualified is just so I can at least have a ballpark figure and not start dead last in this race, so that's why. But still, it's ridiculous that he stopped. <laughs> so here's just uh, the results. Michael McDowell got fourth, Vickers got sixth, Blue, um, Chase Elliott eighth, Michael Waltrip ninth, Jeff Burden tenth. Um, I think I was looking for where Junior was, I think, here. Yep, 38th. Um, there you go, that's qualifying. And I just noticed Matt Kenneth got 40th, too, damn. So, yeah, this, I'm, again, I'm very sorry about the footage, got fucked up. Um, it happens now. I did do, I did record to, uh, Kentucky right after Daytona. So, that footage is fine. Everything's in sync. It's like one second off. But that's mainly because of the PVR starting and, like, stopping, like, when you start recording, it takes like a second, and then when you stop, it might take another second. So it's not a big deal. It's not a problem. So, as you see here, I start the race, and you know, go day-night transition. Who won the 86 All-Star Race? That was Bill Elliott, because that was at Atlanta, and that was like the only year they swapped dates, because they wanted to do that, and they didn't like it. 2012, I think I picked uh, Jimmy Johnson. No, I picked Denny Hamlin. The right answer was Jimmy Johnson. Alright, I just kind of spoiled it for myself. What year to good year introduced the liner? I was I remember when I was recording, I was like, I don't fucking know what this is. I have no idea. I was thinking like an old year and yeah, I was right. So there we go, it's already a night time and we're gonna start this race up. And I think we're gonna get the beautiful, sexy introduction like we normally do of Daytona. Oh god. Got nice cute little fireworks in the background. Oh shit, I, I don't know, I just, oh, it just makes me so mad I fucked that up. I can't believe I get just PVR glitched down on me. Now, I remember somebody in the comment section of you saying, I was saying about nobody being in the infield, somebody explained it to me. 
So, thanks for taking the immersion out, because now, I mean, I just wanted to pretend that nobody was in there, and I guess because you gave me a reason, I'm just supposed to believe it. Oh, I will. I'll totally, I'll believe it, but I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> That's so mean. So, there we go, introduction's over. Pace car goes down, get ready. And go, Green Flag's out here at Daytona. We're underway for eight laps. Let's see what happens. And as you can tell, uh, yeah, that I'm obviously not watching, or I'm not playing the game right now. People are like, how, how are you doing that when you're not even looking at the TV? Are you just that damn good? And I'll just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm just that good. So I see, yeah, I started on the pole, and I remember, because I say every race, like, this is like, this is the part where I say, my goal for this race is just to be on the bottom the entire time. And that's what I tried to, that's what I did do here. And I'm just going to let Jimmy go here. Him and freaking Clint Boyer just go. Michael McDowell's up there. <laughs> and Boyer and Johnson duck down low, which is good, because then I can at least have some sort of run. But now they're like two car tangling up there and they're pulling away. A little bit. It's not like freaking inside line where they literally bump track forever. I remember that happening. It might have been like that in 2011 as well where you'd be bump tracking people and they, they would just pull away forever. Like that was ridiculous. Like they would just bump track forever. And then you will... Oh, that... <laughs> and there you go. That's how I wrecked myself. Big wreck. Destruction. I tried to make a three wide after I was just saying... You know, in the original footage, I was like, no, I want to be on the inside and not worry about it. And then I go ahead and try to make it three wide and wreck myself like an idiot. And as you saw, the PPR glitched out there. And there you go, I wrecked the whole damn field. <laughs> I'm surprised that there wasn't as much cars in it as I thought. But, yeah, I... Yet again, for another freaking restrictor play race, I wreck. Which is just fantastic. It's always restrictor play races, I always have the worst freaking luck. So as you can see, my engine's all messed up, so I'm going to pit, or else, you know, I'm going to be slow. So, really can't just stay out, so. Oh my god. So, you may be wondering now, what if, did, are you sure, are you just lying to us and trying to cover for us because you were embarrassed? And let me tell you, nah. It, it was, a, it is a genuine, authentic okay, mistake, or on the freaking game captures part. Because I've embarrassed myself in the past. Like, look at the Talladega race in season one of uh, or NASCAR, or NASCAR 14. I wrecked on lap one. I pretty much was caution filled race the entire time. Give me a fast stop here, there was there was no issues. I had no shame of that. I could have easily redone it, but not. Nah. I'm a man of my uh, one shot attempt. So, but that you know, besides the point of the game glitching, you know. But if it's like. You know, my fault. Like, you know, I'll man up, I'll take that mistake. And I did that here, and it wasn't really quite fun. So there we go, and <laughs> Boyer's leading. A couple of people pitted, I think. Maybe like one. I, it looks like it's only one. Um, where am I gonna be? Jano's <laughs> Jr., 42nd. I'm in freaking last. And I don't like being last, because you do not get in the draft, you get screwed because of the big the draft while this freaking game is so bad. You're like two cents behind them and you'll lose it. It's ridiculous. Like it's just it's just not right. So that's why I chose to at least qualify so I can at least have a shot. But somebody up on the outside lane just kind of stops. I try to get down low be uh, behind uh, beside the net. I get by him. And I'm just I'm praying to baby Jesus now. I'm just like please don't let me lose the draft. I just I just want to have fun. I'm not quite sure. It's been a couple days since I recorded, so I, I can't remember the little details. So I'm not quite sure if uh, if I got screwed out of the draft or not. I can't remember. But as you've seen, I was right behind Regan Smith to lose the draft. Kinda. And then the entire outside lane stops. I'm trying to slow down. I clip in the Regan Smith. We both get sideways. I bounce off the wall. I came back down in the Ken. Then I wrecked myself. And there is the second caution. Still, it's kind of ridiculous that the outside line just slammed on the brakes. I tried my best to slow down, but it just, I just, I just couldn't slow down enough, you know. It's kind of like the bullshit when uh, Dan Weldon died. And I'm not saying his death was bullshit, but like, I'm, I'm saying like in the comment section, people are saying, oh, he could have slowed down for it. Why didn't he slow down? 
it's like you're going like 220 miles an hour. You see a wreck in front of you. I'm pretty sure you try slowing down, but you're not going to go from 220 to zero in two seconds, all right? You know, it's just not how physics work. So after the wreck, my axe is all fucked up. And I stay out because the actual damage doesn't matter. It's Daytona. And I think I gain four spots. So I'm in 39th. I'm not last, but I'm still pretty screwed. I'm surprised people didn't pit that much. And as you see, it's near the end of the freaking race. <laughs> so we have two cautions in this race. The race is already shortened to eight laps because it's 400 miles. Casey Kane spins the tires, so I try to get down low. And he's pitting me all the way off the track, and I get a penalty for it, which is fucking bullshit. And so I'm backing off, and then it stays at 17 seconds for no reason. But it didn't screw me as much, but still it's fucking ridiculous, because when you spin the tires and you try to make a move, and then you pin them all the way off the track and you get blamed for it, like, you are technically getting forced below the yellow line, which is bullshit. Like, that, that... The rule's not broken in real life, but on this game it is, because they have no concept of anything. So as you see, I'm losing a drafter. Biffle's still pushing me. And it's not because of the actual damage, it's not because of that. You may not be able to turn, but that doesn't not, not much to do with it. I can't talk. But, now, right now, I'm just trying to get around people. I just don't <laughs> botched the back of Ty Dillon. I'm just trying to gain as much spots as I can. This race, and Logano stopped. I, it's so ridiculous sometimes how this... It pisses me off watching this. It makes me look fucking stupid. Like, yes, I know the rest are my fault, but this shit's, like, ridiculous. So then I got screwed, and I think in the original footage, I was bitching at Logano like a champ. Which doesn't really help, because I can't stand Logano's guts more than the Pirate Passion on freaking Houdini. Because I, I, I just hate Logano so much. I'm so, I, we, me and my friend were planning on going to Lockett's Glen. Thank God we didn't. Thank God we didn't. Because I would just, just, I would not speak. I would probably just jump out of the car, like, on the way home, like, on the interstate. I would be just we're going, like, 80 miles an hour, just jump out. That's how my last... I would not mind my life ending like that. Just be like, I'm a great song. It's like, fucking Logano, motherfucking one. So you see the white flag's out. I'm trying to get around people, and I'm just running in the back. They're freaking stopping. I'm just not slowing down enough. So, people want to say, you know, it's my fault. Be my fucking guest. But still, it's ridiculous. We will slow down 30 miles an hour. You know, or 20. Like, look at Charlotte, for example, when people are going, like, freaking 130 when you're supposed to go, like, 150. It's ridiculous. So, I am gaining spots, just not a lot. I'm looking up ahead here, and I'm just like, I'm wondering if Brad's going to win or not, because literally it is so damn tight up there for the lead. I was just like, they're side by side, but I can't tell. And Brad wins. I get 22nd. Not the worst, per se, because I think, uh... I was obviously gaining spots, but when people are freaking stopping in front of me, but yeah, I was, I was like, oh, I could take the outside line because then they'll stop, but then they do that, they stop on the outside and all that crap, so. And Michael Walter got second. Holy shit. And uh, Jeb Byrne got ninth, too. He qualified tenth as well, so he had a pretty solid qualifying and race trim. Nice. So I'm just looking through the results here and just trying to see uh, where everybody else finished. Obviously, I stopped because I was. I'm probably pissed. And, oh, I think, okay, no, okay, no, I was gonna look at more. Yeah, I was looking at where Junior finished. 41st, no, I was just like, yay, Junior, you suck. So, 2013. I don't even think I uh, responded to that because I was pissed off. So, there you go, that was Daytona. Another shitty freaking Richard Ripley track. I was so pissed during this race. Like, I was just, obviously, I've been madder, but. That was just ridiculous. Again, it was not one of the. It's, but yet again, it's like it all went downhill from here on lap freaking two. So that was freaking smart. And I get 666 points, which is hilarious. That's the spawn of Satan, which is probably what possessed me during that race to make me suck so goddamn bad. So most of the top nine were pretty much the same. Vickers is in top, is in 10th, which is amazing. And I'm still looking through here. Junior lost a shit ton of spots because he freaking sucks. Logano dropped more spots. Stuart gained two. I think I do it down more. Uh, Bobby Labonte's doing better than Ricky Stenhouse. It's funny. So there you go. That was Daytona. 
That would suck. So, as you see, next race is Kentucky for race 18 and 36 for the Quaker State 400. I'm looking forward to it because it is a track where I'm hoping nothing bad happens like at Daytona. So, obviously I don't want to spoil it because this is future me and I've already did this race. But, let's just hope it wasn't like at Daytona because that made me hate my life so damn much. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed me kind of looking at this footage again. <laughs> I'm sorry for the for the freaking mistake of the game. Just didn't record it properly. I don't know why. So sorry about that. So without further ado, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later at Kentucky. So take care, everyone.